Refilling the reservoir twice a day with an ice bottle became super annoying. And given that I plan on growing hydro again, I decided to splurge on a water chiller. I ended up scouring the internet and found this water chiller on Amazon for about $200, which is half of what I was expecting. My whole system averages about 17 gallons of water, and this chiller was rated at 16 gallons, which is close enough, so I got it. I'm pretty sure all the ones that look like this are the same because it doesn't have any name brand or logo and all the pictures of it I see online are identical. I've been using this for over a month now and I could honestly say it works perfectly for my system. Ever since I installed it, my water temperature has never gone more than 2 degrees further than my target. It comes with its own water pump that is used to feed water in and out of the system, two clear hoses, two small clamps, a chiller, and a probe. I ended up purchasing a 3 meter black hose and swapping it out with the clear ones for light leaks. So right now I'm going to teach you how to set up this water chiller and you just need to understand that the water is being fed to the chiller and taken back out through the water pump that's included and that's this right here so you'll notice that I have a black hose which I ended up buying separately because the clear hose that's included lets light go through and you do not want light leaks on an RDWC or DWC system so one of those clear hoses had this black piece on it and that you're going to connect to your black hose and that's going to let you secure this onto the pump. So you put it in that hole. This little switch part I have pointing all the way closest to the edge, right? And you're going to take the other end and you're going to connect it to the back of either outlet, secure it with the clamp, then take the other holes, put it on the other outlet, secure it with the clamp, and have this being fed back to wherever you want the water to pour. Okay, now I let the water pour from up here. When it drips down, it could create bubbles, which serves a double purpose. Also, when my water level goes down enough, the bubbles get louder, and I know loud bubbles means I need to add water to my reservoir. Now this pump, I have about two inches from the top of the water on the side, okay? Now the reason why I have it two inches from the top is because hot water rises. And when hot water rises, this is gonna suck in warmer water to chill rather than it sucking in chilled water and trying to chill chilled water it's kind of pointless makes sense all right so now you see cold water is pouring down from here it'll create bubbles every now and then and right now as far as the probe goes the probe is tethered onto the back of this unit you're going to put the probe strategically where the warmest water is so if you understand the RDWC, water's getting fed in through a pump, goes around your whole entire system, and my system comes right back out of this hole right here that my finger is in. Now I have the probe strategically placed in front of that hole so that it's going to take a temperature reading of the warmest water. You're gonna have to figure out a way to secure it Fortunately, I have this piece that came with my airstone kit that works perfectly and as you can see It'll hold that into place right where I want it where that warmest water is And that temperature is going to be red on the front display of your unit So to program this once you plug it in and you turn it on It's pretty simple Whatever your actual target is, set it at one degree lower. So my target is 67 degrees, which means I'm gonna set it at 66. And what that does is 
once the temperature goes two degrees above whatever you set it at, so 66 plus two is 68, it's gonna prompt this chiller to turn on and it's gonna cool the water until it hits that target again. So it goes to 68, turns on, chills the water, it goes down slowly, hits 66 and it stops. Then it's gonna warm up again and it's gonna hit 68, turn on again, repeat. So basically the range of temperatures is gonna be 66 to 68. And since my original target was 67, you know you're smack in the middle of that range. So making it simple for you, just hit it at one degree less than your actual target, 66. See? Like that. And that's it. This unit is supposed to heat as well, but I'm pretty sure I'm never going to need it. And a version of this exists that's strictly cooling and the link to it is in the description as well. Check out my hydro versus soil videos to see my plants progress and the use of this actual chiller.